Okay, we have created master image by um, installing appropriate components and adding that machine to domain. And then we have created, based on that, we created machine catalog and machine catalog and provision this server. So before creating delivery group, just make sure that that server that's created by machine catalog is turned on. And once it's turned on, uh, then we can proceed to create machine uh, de uh, delivery group. The reason for that is when you will create delivery group for application, it will query that, that server. And that server is off. It won't be able to know which applications are installed on that server. So once you turn on the server, which was provisioned by machine catalog, you can go ahead with creating delivery groups. So I'm creating a delivery group, and this delivery group will deliver applications here. I select the catalog, and I have three remote desktop services. And how many I want to use? I have just one, so of course I will use just one here. And what this server will deliver? What this catalog will deliver? Desktop, desktop and applications or just applications? Maybe you might want to deliver remote, you know, remote desktop sessions as well as applications. In our case, I would like to deliver applications only. So what I will do, I will select applications. And if you remember, we, I have installed Microsoft Office 2013 on the server. So this is what I want to do. I want to publish Office 2013, and I want to deliver Office 2013 using this server. Users and groups who will be entitled to who will be entitled to get these applications again VDI users. I'm assigning this group, and now it is querying to. The server Zen App 01 and creating inventory of installed applications. In case if your application doesn't appear here, you can always go to add application manually and add your application. In my case, I can see Office 2016, so I will choose. I'm sorry, <laughs> I said I published 2013 and uh, it's 2016. So I'm publishing 2016. Newer is better, right? So along with Word, Excel, and Access, we choose uh, Notepad as well as Calculator. So we have access, calculator, and what else I can? Okay, access, calculator, let's go down. Excel, it's fine. Uh, notepad. Uh, not publisher, sorry, uh, PowerPoint and Word. As I said, you can always add application manually. You can go to the properties of applic I mean, application settings, change the name that will appear, the icon. If you want, to add shortcut to user desktop for this application, you can select this option over there. So in this case, I'm selecting it for Microsoft uh, Word. And where, what's the path? It's fine. 
show this to entire delivery group or I want to limit the visibility of this applications from some user or users from this uh, delivery uh, group. So see, it gives you more control, more flexibility, basically. So I have selected my applications. Go next, or let me just go back and change the name, delivery group name. Uh, no, okay, let me just write the I business apps and business apps okay office 2016 to yeah, users um, uh, let me do one more thing uh, let me just go back and I would like to change this one instead of applications I would like to create one more folder under it let's say of Microsoft Office 2016 So far, so good. I think this is okay. Uh, yeah. Or um, it's fine. I think. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. It's just you know, just time just becomes picky with names. They are just names anyway. So now it's creating these applications. And. Shortly, you should be able to see those applications over here. When I select this delivery group, right, and I can see applications here, the application that I've selected to publish. It's inside master image, as you can see. This machine catalog based on this machine catalog I mean and another way to look at it if I go to applications yeah and I expand it see Microsoft Office 2016 the folder that I created and here I have all those applications So these applications I'm publishing uh, are delivering using Zenapp. So let's see when my clients will connect using Citrix receiver, what do they get? Uh, thank you once again and uh, see you in another video.